Aloha, my name is Orville Baldos and I'm an assistant researcher at the Department of Tropical Plant and Soil Sciences at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. Today I would like to share with you uh, research that was done by my undergraduate student in improving rooting of variegated Scaevola takada stem cuttings. Scaevola takada, or naupaka in Hawaiian, is a native coastal shrub that is found across the Hawaiian Islands. It is a commonly used landscape shrub and is very salt and wind tolerant. In recent years, variegated forms have been found across the Hawaiian Islands. This picture in particular is a cultivar called Fukupaka that was identified on the Big Island. We have also seen variegated forms on the island of Molokai, also on Oahu, and lastly, on the island of Kauai. Variegated forms are not very rare, but they are not as widely available yet in the nursery industry. So right now, nobody is selling these plants in a large scale. In order to increase availability of these selections, propagation techniques for these selections must be improved. Naupaka is commonly propagated from stem cuttings, but there hasn't been any research done to evaluate the effects of IBA on improving rooting of these cuttings. So the objective of this study is to evaluate the rooting response of a variegated naupaka selection to five concentrations of IBA. So for our study, we collected 50 identical apical stem cuttings that are about 20 centimeters long of a selection of variegated naupaka from Kauai. These stem cuttings were harvested from container-grown stock plants, and the lower leaves of each cutting were removed. We also prepared five concentrations of IBA, which ranges from 0, 2,500, 5,000, 7,500, and 10,000 ppm. So these were prepared by diluting 16,000 ppm uh, IBA in the form of uh, commercially available Hormex-16 rooting powder with a calculated amount of talc powder. So at the time that we planted the stem cuttings, we allocated about 10 cuttings per treatment or concentration. The cuttings were labeled with painter's tape, treated, and planted in deep propagation trays filled with a one-to-one -one by volume perlite and vermiculite. These trays were then placed under mist irrigation that is set at 20 seconds every two minutes in a greenhouse that contains 80% shade for about 30 days. After 30 days, we harvested the roots and washed the media off carefully. After harvesting the roots, root scans were done with a flatbed scanner and these images were then run under wind riso software to get total root length and total root surface area. So these two parameters of rooting was then analyzed using analysis of variance and two key HSD tests. In order to meet ANOVA assumptions, root surface area was log transformed before analysis. So let's look at the results. So basically, the results of our study indicate that IBA improved rooting of stand cuttings by significantly increasing total root length and total root surface area. When we look at total root length, there was an almost threefold increase in total root length with IBA application. So we saw significantly higher root length in concentrations between 2,500 and 10,000 parts per million. But when we compare these concentrations with each other, there was no significant difference. Looking at total root surface area, we also found significant increase in root surface area with IBA application between 2,500 and 10,000 parts per million but we didn't see any differences between these concentrations. The picture on the left shows you representative cuttings and rooting densities of each treatment. So the ones below are the ones that are designated as the control. So this is the 0 ppm IBA. And then as you go up, you have increasing concentrations of IBA. And as you can see here, visually there is denser root formation with IBA application. So in conclusion, 
we found that IBA at rates between 2,500 parts per million and 10,000 parts per million improves routing characteristics of variegated Nopaka stem cuttings. With this finding, we can improve propagation efficiency and eventually help make this selection more widely available to the nursery industry. We would like to thank Kauai Nursery and Landscaping for providing stock plant materials for this project and also the USDA National Institute of Food and Agriculture Hatch Projects HAW08040-H managed by the College of Tropical Agriculture and Human Resources and we also would like to thank the Hawaii Department of Agriculture New Germplasm Grant for partially funding this research project. If you have any questions, you can email me at obaldos at hawaii.edu. Thank you.